Hi Vogue, I'm Ash Nico and today we're getting ready for golf ball. We're in New York. I'm about to play golf ball. I've always wanted to play golf ball, so I'm really excited. We have some pyrotechnics involved in tonight's performance. I am really scared of melting my face off. My makeup artist, Zahair, is doing my makeup. Hi. Tonight, we are doing one of Zahair's classics. We are doing a swirly rhinestone look that makes its way onto my cheeks and frames my face symmetrically. Hi, um, I am Mango. I am Ash's stylist and DJ. So the look for tonight is very like organic, cyber, kind of flower alien look. The designer is Nicholas Raidmacher and I just found him through the internet. Like I love finding independent designers. I feel like one, it's just really nice to give them a platform for their work to be seen. And I think it's really special that most things they make are one of one, not totally mass produced. You can feel the love that people put into their garment. And it's just really special. These are super cute. These are from Field of Ponies. I feel like it adds like an element of just playfulness to this. Ash Nico's aesthetic. I feel like it varies from like deconstructed fairy nature. I feel like it's a big influence on you. And then also like tank girl utilitarian. It's a mix between like soft and also like really hard. I feel like you love ripped, yeah. ripped things. <laughs> we gave you something clean today, but usually it's ripped garments. Mm -hmm. My lucky necklace. My girlfriend got it for me. It's cute. I think I don't really actively think about expressing my queer identity in my music. I just talk about my experiences and am queer. So that's just how it naturally happens because a lot of my songwriting themes are about queer love and queer sex. Yeah. Just being myself. My sexuality and my gender identity are quite fluid and I think figuring that out in the public eye is kind of difficult sometimes. Also I think queer representation is really important because I mean I didn't really have a lot of queer representation growing up but I think if I had my experience would have been a lot different. So I do feel like being open about my queerness is important. I like to experiment with genres quite a lot. My music is like fairy, punk, hip hop, metal, all put into one. Also I have like a little bit of country in the next album. So we're just laying out some jewelry options right now. Um, I feel like they work with the, the outfit really well. It's just a mix of soft and hard. And I feel like the silver and metal is like just like a hard element to it, but they're still so pretty at the same time. So I'm still unsure about my look for tonight, um, but I have two options and I just generally try to match the same aesthetic and theme that, um, that we do for Ash's looks, just so it's cohesive on stage. Okay, Vogue, I'm gonna get dressed now. Maybe it's, is it too strong? No, I like this. No, it's pretty. Did you just say, is it too strong? I was like, is it too strong? <laughs> is it too good? <laughs> <laughs> Any flappy necklace will hit you me. You have to do chokers. Face. Yeah. Primarily. That is perfect. Yeah. I do a lot of jumping on the floor. So I need knee pads.
this is it. Jump test. No boobies are falling out. Nothing's hitting me in the face. It's perfect. Now I have to do my vocal warm ups. Me, me, ma, mo, moo. Those are my vocal warm ups. Thank you so much, Vogue. I'm about to go on stage, so I'll catch you guys later.